Well, on to the next things. These are the figs I planted. Remember the remember the irises? Just drop them all on the ground. Look at that. Same on this side. I did nothing more than drop them on the ground. Oh, I hear the indigo buntings again. There's one right there. A female there. And what's over here? Is this also a female? Oh, there's the male. Oh, and this is the yellow throat. Where's the indigo over here? I see some grasses moving. There are lots of chipping. Okay, so anyway, I get a little sidetracked. So we've got the irises and then these figs planted all these lovely fig trees because they said hardy fig, zone 7 to 10. Well, you know what? We live in zone 4. So I guess they're going to have to come in in the winter. And then these are the azaleas. Got them for three bucks. Golden Golden Light Cecilia. And then all those spent lots of time planting, sticking um, willow in the ground last year. And so all along here they're growing. Can you see them? Those are the willow. And then they come along the edge here. Oh, there's one way in there. These frilly little leaves. Now under here, there are also some here, but the tarp has been on top of them. little ditch there so they would have more moisture.
But I think I should plant more willow along here again. These are doing very well. Look at this. Last night, if you'll remember, I came out here and I picked all of the blooming daylilies. It's a white album. So this one is about to bloom today. But already, these are blooming today. <laughs> you have a faint smell. This one might open today. Aren't they beautiful? The trick is to appreciate them all day. The pond is beautiful. Now I really should have willow along this edge over here, I guess. Beaver comes in here to snack on cattails and leaves them laying on the ground. I think I should build a, a big um, sound barrier fence. That would take a lot of work. Well, I did plant willow along here somewhere. Yeah, right at the edge, I guess. It's just all going to turn to grass.
This pond is so beautiful.